Hey, what's up? It is Michael Christopher, your real estate consultant for New York City. Back at you with another one, and today's video is for those workers that are a part of the gig economy. All the content creators out there, all of the uh, Uber drivers, all of the personal trainers, all of the, you know, everything in between. This video is for you. Now, when you guys are doing something like a room share, let's say. Room shares are pretty easy to, to acquire. But when you're ready to break out on your own and you're finally making some consistent money, now you need to go out and look for your own place, you may have a hard time doing so. Landlords require 40 times the rent. As I've said in another video, that 40 times the rent is not some sort of punishment for you it's actually a really good indicator of what you can afford from a living standpoint. You need to make 40 times the rent. But in addition to making 40 times the rent, you need to be able to show that you make 40 times the rent and preferably in some sort of consistent manner. You have to understand the, the arena in which you're playing. There are a lot of regular workers here. And when I say regular workers, I don't mean, you know, regular jobs by any stretch of the imagination. What I mean is people that work and go home and they get a W-2 and that W-2 is consistent every two weeks. So when you present this to a landlord, your W-2, it's, oh, it's consistent income. I see you make the same $2,000 every week. I see you make the same $5,000 every, every two weeks. I see you make the same whatever every week. But as we all know, as you know, some months are good, some months not so good. There may be some inconsistencies. So to help you with your quest and make your life a lot easier, here's what you do. I'm not sure how you go about billing people or you know how you collect your receivables, but if you haven't already, collect your receivables in some sort of centralized location. Okay, whether that be Stripe, whether that be PayPal, whether that be, you know, if you're invoicing people for work that you've done, uh, maybe that's QuickBooks online or something, but have your receivables in one central location. Why? Because these apps, they are able to spit out something that looks like a pay stub. If you're asked for, well, let me see your last two months pay stubs. Those apps can spit out the equivalent of a pay stub and it can show your income and it can present it in a very pay stubbish kind of manner. So that's number one. Number two, you need to understand that you're competing against, how do I say this? You're competing against your regular everyday worker. What makes them appealing, like I've said, is the consistency. So what you need to do is just make your income look very consistent. A lot of content creators, they do not go the extra step of actually forming a business. Yes, this is me, you know, Michael, the, you know, the content creator on TikTok and oh, I just got a brand deal. So, you know, this company pays me $2,000 every month and, you know, yeah, that's great. So that's $24,000 at the end of the year that I can add to my total annual income. Cool. Before you do all that, if you take this seriously, form a company around what you do. Listen to what I said. Form a company around what you do. Stop thinking of yourself as just a content creator. Think of yourself as an actual business. Now you're in the business of content creation, but form a company around what you do. Create an LLC. Create an S Corp, a C Corp. What Research it and figure out whatever is best for you and then do that. Once you do that, go out open a business bank account. Go to Chase, go to Bank of America, go to TD Bank, whomever, open a business checking account. From that business checking account, you're then gonna have your Stripe account, PayPal, QuickBooks, whatever. All of the receivables that you get are gonna filter into your business checking account. So, when that happens, 
you got a few dollars building up, take out a credit card. Get a credit card in your business name and then from there put all of your expenses on that credit card which has your company name on it. Not your name, it has your company name on it. So when you do these things, one, mentally, you'll take your business a lot more seriously. Two, when you present your documents to a landlord, you found this great apartment, you gotta present your documents, the same documents that any other employee would present, you are now not presenting, oh yeah, I'm a content creator and here's, uh, here's uh, you know, I made $2,000 this month and I made uh, $800 last month and, you know, all these different documents. You're presenting official corporate documents to the landlord. You just even the playing field. That's all you got to do. When you do that, they will look at you differently. They will be a lot more lenient and not treat you like, Oh, you're just some kid running around shooting videos. That doesn't sound consistent. But if you're the person that went out, created a company around your business, you took all the steps to form a business bank account, you have a credit card, all this stuff, okay, now you are in line with the other workers in the city. There's a lot more consistency here. You take this a lot more seriously. So therefore, I don't have to put you through the grinder to make you prove, oh, I need you to go out and find a guarantor that makes 80 times the rent and you know I need two years worth of pay stubs. I've heard it all. Do yourself a favor, put those things in action. Now, the things I said, they may sound complex to you. They may sound, it may sound like a lot, but everything I just said will literally take you at max, at max, three days, four days. Sometimes you can get it done in 24 hours, 48 hours. That's all you gotta do. It's not a difficult thing. It's just, it looks like you put the effort in to legitimize your business. So you just elevated yourself from being a content creator, which, I mean, everybody's a content creator. I'm, I'm a content creator right now, to a business owner you now have a business around content creation. And when you present those documents, it looks official because it is official. That's all you gotta do. And in most cases, the landlord will no longer give you a hard time about renting a place. One more thing that I could add to this is all landlords are different. So depending on the place that you're looking at, if you are a content creator and all of your content is based around living the New York City fantasy and you know my life is so fabulous, if you're one of those people and you're trying to move into you know super luxury building on the Upper East Side or you know somewhere down in Soho or something, you may have a harder time to go renting a place. But there's a bunch of amazing landlords that exist in New York City that as long as you present those official documents like I instructed you to, you won't have any problem. If you happen to maybe strike out at one building, there's a trillion other buildings similar. Even regular W-2 employees that have the easiest time renting apartments. Even for that population, renting an apartment here is not, you know, it, it's not the easiest thing. It's most people's hardest thing that they have to do here. Just know that. So if you get turned down at one place, it's not a personal thing. It, it doesn't say anything about you or your character. It's just, okay, that landlord, you know, for whatever reason, didn't work out. There's a trillion other places. Go down the block. Go next door, okay? <laughs> I mean, there's a bunch of places available. and. Yes, some landlords are super lenient. And when my clients come to me uh, that are content creators, I tend to take them to those landlords. Um, and, you know, the approvals are easy and, you know, no fuss. But if you happen to run into a landlord that is giving you a hard time, just go next door. Okay? Especially if you're presenting everything, as I told you, in a very official way. Uh, capacity. There's a trillion places. Don't overthink it. 
you will find a place so I hope this helps you I hope you implement what I told you to if you haven't already and if you ever need any advice real estate if you're looking for a place and having trouble click the link in the description I am happy to have a conversation with you about finding a place that is you know reasonable for you and yeah I just really hope that helps okay and leave a comment in the description if you go out and implement that okay I want to know about your progress all right so I'll see you in the next video I'm Michael Christopher your NYC real estate consultant peace